everybody! Welcome to ESL and citizenship classes at Southside Baptist Church. This is large group time. I'm Susan and today we're talking about past tense verbs. So you may already know in English how to form regular past tense verbs, which we do by adding ED to the end, for the most part. There are a few weird ones. But did you know that there are three different ways to pronounce past tense verbs that end in ED? I'm gonna, there's three different sounds, okay? The first is id, the second is t, and the third is d. All right, now I'm gonna say the past tense word and you can write it, if you're a student in one of our classes, you have this paper in your resource folder, okay? But if you don't, you can also do it in your head. I'm going to say the word, and you decide which column it should go in. The id, the t, or the d. Ready? First word. Lived. Lived. Where does it go? Did you pick d? That's correct. Lived. Next word. Tended. Tended. Where does that one go? It goes in the id because we have tended. Third word, ready? Walked. Walked. What sound do you hear at the end of walked? It's a T, very good. So you have three words, all with the same ending, but they make three different sounds. Now why is that? It depends on the letter that the word ends in normally. So with lived, okay, we have a V sound. With tended, we have a D sound. And with walked, we have a K sound. So depending on the sound that the word normally ends with, it's going to make a different sound. Many people, including native English speakers, can't explain this or why it happens. Okay, so don't feel bad. I'm going to show you a simple trick to know how you should pronounce the word, okay? In is pretty easy. If it ends in a D or a T, add an extra in. That's very natural. Now, T and D are more confusing, right? But if you put your hand on your throat, you feel a little bump. That's called your voice box in English. And sometimes it vibrates when we talk like a little bzz, bzz, and sometimes it doesn't. So depending on whether or not your, your voice box buzzes like a little bee, you see my bee there? If it makes a buzzing feeling, then you should use a d sound afterward. And if it doesn't make a buzzing sound, you should make a t sound afterward, okay? So let's try this. Let's say the word lived together. Put your hand on your voice box and say lived. Lived. You feel it buzzing? So we're making a D sound at the end. Now, let's try it with walked. Walked. No buzzing. So it's a T. So there's a list of letters here. If the word ends in those sounds, you're ending with T sound. And if your voice box does buzz, it's all of these letters. You're going to end with D. So you can practice it while we're doing our reading activity in just a minute. Now, it's time for our citizenship focus. So I have two citizenship questions for you using, guess what, past tense verbs. Number 63, when was the Declaration of Independence adopted? You see how I did that for you? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Very good. And number 86, what major event happened on September 11th, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Very good. Correct. Now it's time for our reading. And our reading story for today comes from the Bible, and it's the story of Adam and Eve. You can read it with me on the screen. Or if you have your paper at home, you can read it on your paper. I have marked in bold, dark letters all of the past tense words that we're going to focus on pronouncing correctly. Now, I 
always say, one, two, ready, read. Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden. They tended the beautiful garden, the plants, and the animals. In the cool of each evening, God walked in the garden and talked with them. God commanded Adam, you are free to eat fruit from all the trees except one. You must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat it, you will die. One day, a snake tempted Eve. Did God really say not to eat any fruit in the garden? The snake wanted to trick Eve so that she disobeyed God. Eve looked at the fruit on the forbidden tree. Finally, she picked some fruit and ate it. Eve offered some of the fruit to Adam, and he ate it too. Then they realized they were naked and ashamed that they had disobeyed God. Later, they heard God calling them, and they hid. God asked, what have you done? Adam blamed Eve, and Eve blamed the snake. God punished Adam and Eve by making them leave the beautiful garden. But God still loved Adam and Eve and made clothes for them to wear. Very good reading. Now I have a few questions to check our understanding of the story. Are you ready? Number one, where did Adam and Eve live? Did you say in the Garden of Eden? Correct. Number two, what did God command Adam? He commanded him not to eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Number three, who tempted Eve? Did you say a snake? Correct. Number four, how did God show that he still loved Adam and Eve? Did you say he made clothes for them? Very good. This is our Bible verse for today. It's here on the screen. If you have a Bible at home, you can read it in an English Bible or any Bible in your language. The verse is Genesis 1, 27. God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. Now it's time for our prayer. If you would like to say this prayer with me, it's going to be here on the screen, or you can also say your own words for your prayer. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for creating each person and for giving us the freedom to make our own choices. Please strengthen us to choose the things that are right and kind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I would love to pray for you. If you have something good, something you're worried about, anything at all, if I can pray for you, please send me an email. I would love to do that. My email is on this screen right here. It's your turn. If you have a story, photo, or video about you making good choices, please share it with us. And this is my email, susan at ssbc.org. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Large Group. See you next week. Bye.